Today we have a battle between two affordable game improvement irons. The Maltby STI and the Dynacraft Profit. Let's check them out. Hey golfers, Dave from Fit to You Golf. Today we're going to look at two comparable game improvement irons that you can have for about $15 a head. Pair them with a shaft like the Adila VX series that I'm using and you can build a club for $30. Both have 30 degrees of loft approximately. The Dynacraft looks like a game improvement iron, kind of chunky, thick sole, but it does have flex face technology that's supposed to help get up ball speeds. The face isn't overly large, and the, the sole is, uh, while wide, the uh, top line is, is kind of medium. The Maltby STI, a uh, really nice looking club, does have some flashy graphics, but the finish is nice, matte, and subdued. And uh, they uh, advance their technology by taking weight away from the hosel and adding it out towards the center of the club and the toe. So the center of gravity is aligned, and uh, this hits towards the toe are more forgiving. So I got to give uh, the categories for looks and technology to the Maltby. So let's get out to the range and check out the performance. Okay, so we're back from the range and I've calculated some averages. We took five swings from each club and uh, put them into a spreadsheet. And as you can see by looking at the results, um, the performance was almost identical. Uh, identical swing speeds at uh, 83 miles an hour and exactly the same average carry distance, 146.6. Uh, and that sounds about right to me in terms of how far I, I carry a 7-iron. Um, so basically, I think what that means is performance-wise, these clubs are a tie. Uh, if you were choosing between one of these clubs, I would say go with the one that fits your eye, you know, that looks good to you. Um, if you like the confidence of the chunky sole, go with the Dynacraft. If you like something that looks a little more refined, uh, go with the Malty. Uh, but you can't, you can't lose either way. I enjoyed hitting both these clubs. The overall winner, the Malty STI. Uh, tied with performance, but it, it edged out the Dynacraft in my view in terms of the looks and technology. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, stay tuned for more content. Stay positive.